Hi, my name is Jose Miguel Parrella and I work with the open source team here at Microsoft and today I'm going to show you how to install Secant 2.1 using the Azure BMD Depot um, image provided by the uh, Open Knowledge Foundation. So you will need a Windows Azure subscription and the first step will be to browse to settings uh, which is uh, right on, on the bottom of the left pane of options on your Azure portal and go to affinity groups. So as you can see, I have been uh, creating some affinity groups, which basically are containers for uh, Azure resources that uh, bind those resources to a, a region, a geographical region. In this case, I have created the Seacan West, which is a West US region, uh, and I will uh, use that throughout the demo to uh, associate most of the resources here. Uh, optionally, you can also add a virtual network, so you can browse to networks, click on create a virtual network, put a name on it, for example, CCAN Net, and choose the affinity group, in this case it's the West uh, affinity group, and then choose the subnet um, that, that you want to use. In this case, I don't have DNS server, so I just click on Next, and then for the subnet, I will choose a 24, and I'll put something like 10.8. 11.12.0 so I'll get uh, 256 addresses in this uh, particular subnet so I go ahead and create that uh, while it's creating I'll uh, will browse to uh, virtual machines which is on top of the list uh, right here and click on images as you can see I already have uh, Seacan DV and Seacan web here um, the way that you uh, bring this, these images in uh, to your account from BM Depot is by using the Browse BM Depot option that is uh, at the bottom uh, ribbon. So basically you click here and you have access to the entire BM Depot, uh, which is a community contributed set of images uh, on a service provided by uh, Microsoft Open Technologies, a fully owned Microsoft subsidiary that dedicates to open source and open standards. So you can browse here and you'll find Seacan database and Seacan web images. Uh, just go ahead and click on that and after some minutes because it's going to copy like between 20 and 30 gigabytes of data over the internet you will have the, the images sitting right here in pending registration status so you click on each one of them and then register uh, so in this way they will be available for you to use in your uh, virtual machines that's what I'm going to do right now as you can see the virtual network has already been created then after the images are registered, I should be able to create the instances of those VMs by clicking here in Virtual Machine Instances, uh, then clicking on New. As you can see, Virtual Machine is already selected. Clicking in From Gallery, and on the left pane, selecting My Images. I have Database and Web right here. I will choose uh, Web first. I'll click on Next. I have to define a name for this, so I will use Secan DV001, for example. Um, the size of the uh, virtual machine, this is OK. And now for the certificate, you will need to follow the uh, Windows Azure documentation on how to create, create a compatible uh, uh, SSH keys uh, with Linux. Um, in this case, they uh, suggest that you use uh, either CentOS, Debian, or Ubuntu, and there are specific instructions on how to do it. However, uh, you can also use uh, Sigwin, which uh, is available for Windows, and just run the OpenSSL commands that are uh, described uh, right here. So after you run this command, you will have a private key in a certificate and you only need the certificate in this case. Go ahead and select the certificate. You can also provide a password. In this case, the password will not enable you for SSH authentication because uh, certificates will be used, but it will be useful in case you need to uh, use sudo or any other uh, resource. So now we will create a new cloud service. It's going to it's gonna be called the, the same as the virtual machine. And I'm just going to make sure that the uh, Seacan net, the virtual network, is being used here. And as you can see, uh, it, the subnet is also uh, being automatically selected here. So I can just go ahead and, and click Next. Since this is the web instance, uh, in addition to the SSH endpoint, I should add the HTTP endpoint, which will enable um, access to TCP port 80. So with that, I can just click. Uh, and, and go ahead with uh, starting the creation of the virtual machine. So now that the VM uh, has been created and the cloud service uh, has been created as well, 
while it's provisioning and starting I can uh, go ahead and create the second VM as we discussed so I just choose from gallery and then I go and choose the DB image which is the remaining one I set the name for it provide a password and now that the other VM has been created I should be able to choose CKNDV001 which is the first VM that I created right from the drop down list and as you can see the rest of the um, of the fields are already filled in so I just have to go to the endpoint, pa endpoint page in this case I don't want to create a public endpoint for database uh, I, I only wanted to do that for web but not for database so I'm, I'm fairly okay with this so I click on that and then uh, now the two VMs are being uh, created, started, and provisioning. Now that the two VMs are provisioned, you might wonder how are you going to SSH into each one of them if they have the same DNS name. See, the thing is that the second virtual machine that I just connected to the network and affinity group that I uh, previously created has a different port for SSH. So you can click on the VM, then click on dashboard and scroll a little bit down and you'll find that the VM uh, has the port 63718 in this case so I can access it by specifically calling that SSH port so I'll put two windows side by side and this one I'll uh, use SSH and the private key that I created with OpenSSL and the username is Azure user and then the host name and I will log in uh, to the number 001 VM in this case, I will use the same, but I'll specify the port 63718, and I will log in to 002. So once I'm in, I can use sudo to escalate to uh, root, and I can use the password that I created on the portal. So now that I have the two VMs running, I should be able to just go ahead and use my browser, and I should get Seekan. So this is just a simple tutorial on how to set up a BM Depot provided uh, image supported by the Open Knowledge Foundation of Seekan 2.1 on Windows Azure.